Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, we talk about all things fandom and we talk about them in a positive way. And if that's something that appeals to you, you know you've come to the right place. And today is something Saturday where we talk about things we really didn't get a lot of time to talk about this week. And today's kind of different because today is my birthday and it's the 5th of November. And what type of movie can we talk about on November 5th. Well, V for Vendetta. So here's my review of V for Vendetta and just overall everything I like about it. So go ahead and let's jump right into it. Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason, and plot. For there is a reason why gunpowder and treason should never be forgotten. And it's with those words that one of the best movies begins. And what makes it a good movie is that it holds up in any given year. Because one of our biggest fears as society is to have our creativity stifled. Imagine a channel where I couldn't talk about certain things, where I couldn't where I couldn't give you a review of something because it was forbidden, where books are banned to read, where you can't play a certain kind of music. This type of thing in society is always garnered the biggest fears. And that makes it scarier than a lot of scary movies you can see. Just the fact that we as a society fear that this stuff can happen. So, when it kicks off, this story focuses on a girl that is about ready to run into some bad guys. And this masked figure appears. And when he appears, he saves her. But he brings her to the top of a building where he plays the song and destroys a statue, and sets into motion the events of the movie, telling her that it is the mask, the idea, and that ideas never die. And that's something that's important in this movie, and one of the reasons that I love it so much. The idea that you can change the world through your words, through your actions, because ideas never die. A person may be forgotten, but an idea is forever. That's one of the reasons that we have this channel. The idea that we can be positive. The idea that we can maybe inspire some fan to go and see a movie that they wouldn't have seen. You know, give something a chance. Maybe even inspire you to create something of your own. That's the ultimate goal. And that's one of the reasons that I love this movie. Now, the movie itself is based on a Vertigo comic book. And Vertigo is a, was a division of DC Comics. And it gets a bit dark at times. But if you have never read this particular book, you really should pick it up and read it. It's an excellent read, and the stuff involved in this book actually still holds up pretty good today, because like I said, it's a consistent fear that we have as a society. So when he takes her up to this building, and he shows her what he's going to do, and he tells her, I would like to invite you back. And, and he does. He invites her back. He kind of shows her how come he became who he is. By taking her on this journey, we find out that the government in this movie have lied to people to protect them. And given people physical enhancements and telling them what type of music they can listen to and what they can't. The idea behind this movie is just crazy. 
but it's one that we fear can really happen. People have a fear of being told that they cannot act a certain way or do certain things. And that's what makes this movie more horrifying than some of the horror movies that you will see. She starts to realize that the people around her aren't what they seem. Some of the people that she thought were loyal to the government are in fact not very loyal at all. And you have this anti-hero who is doing this really good thing to change the world for the better. And movies like this present that Orwellian feel that really inspires. If you have never read 1984 by George Orwell, you, you should totally read that. It is an epically good book. It's kind of a downer, but its message is one of importance. And it's a very controversial book at that. I know a lot of people wanted to see that book banned for several reasons. And that only makes people want to read it more. And it is a good read. It's terrifying. Now, I know it's an older movie. And I could spoil it and give you all sorts of things about the plot itself. But the idea, he wants to make the world a better place through this act of violence. A vigilante seen as this horrible villain. But as the people start to see what his message really is, when November 5th comes around of the next year, he finds that... There's a lot of people supporting him, just as he kind of said there would be. And the film really does a good job at reflecting this positive message that one person can make a change. If you have not seen this film, I highly recommend it. It is definitely one of my all-time favorites. And I give this movie five stars. If you've seen it, I want to know what you think. And if you haven't, go ahead and watch it and let me know what you think. So, so make sure that you are leaving us a comment telling us what you think. YouTube likes it and we like to hear from you. And make sure you share this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation as well. And then don't forget to hit that like button because... YouTube likes it and it helps the channel. And best of all, it's free. And then also, Miko says we need more subscribers. And you don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video we do. And yes, Miko, at the end of the day, fandom is family.